Hello everyone, it's getting close to the holidays, so I thought you guys would probably be digging out your uh, train stuff um, and maybe setting up some temporary layouts. So that's what I got going on here. Just wanted to update you on um, my new setup and uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Um, so what I have here is uh, Kato Unitrack and um, I've got the Ecos ESU command station and I've got uh, Digitrax DS64 controlling some switches so I've got a uh, double crossover a couple of number sixes and uh, a couple of number fours um, those guys aren't hooked up yet but I just got the sixes and uh, the double crossover hooked up right now um, Basic guts are same as before. I've got a temporary bus line, 14 gauge. Um, this is the uh, red and the white line. Basically follows the main line um, above it in a circle around the bottom. And then I'm using the Kato 24 gauge feeder wires from either a feeder track or a feeder unit joiner. And they just tie in down the bottom here with uh, suitcase connectors. And um, programming the DS64, really simple. You basically come to your command station, you go to your accessories area, you just put in a new accessory, program an address, and um, then all you do is, on the DS64, you press and hold down the, uh, the ID button where the green light is, hold it for three seconds, and then uh, press your accessory over here and it throws a signal to it um, telling it what address it is and it locks in so for instance here's the double crossover when I hit this on my command station it switches back and forth so really simple um, I got a double dog bone layout going on here and um, I can actually run like up to five trains in a really small three foot by six foot package and um, I've got it on some bench work here but I'm still keeping it really um, light and small and movable and that's what the light uh, half inch thick foam core is and uh, idea there is I can just take it off and store it or put it in the garage or something if I need to um, I'm gonna try to make this actual layout permanent do some scenery and some other stuff on this particular one but uh, yeah DCC is really cool and um, doesn't have to be that complicated again I'm a rookie at this stuff and just playing around with it and um, I've had a lot of luck with uh, the Ecos and the, the Unitrack and the DS64 to just kind of get a basic temporary layout up and running and um, Makes it really, really neat. Anyways, happy holidays. Enjoy.